Tonight's hearing comes more than one year since the deadly attack in a sharply divided America. In the rare primetime hearing, the committee will question witnesses and reveal never before seen video. Our Jason Calvi spent the day digging through court records. Jason joins us live now. Staff, so far, police have arrested eight people from Wisconsin. So far, prosecutors have charged more than 800 people. Police arrested eight Wisconsinites for joining the U.S. Capitol riot. In May, police arrested Conlin Ware of Plover. The FBI says that's him. They say records show his phone was inside the Capitol during the riot. In March, police arrested Riley Casper of Pulaski. The FBI complaint uses this video to claim Casper assaulted police with what appears to be pepper spray. They accuse him of sending this message. I pepper sprayed three cops so bad they got undressed and went home. The message goes on. I basically organized my own little militia and we expletive took over Congress. He says he's not guilty. Michael Fitzgerald of Janesville also pled not guilty. The FBI says he was near the front of the line of rioters who pushed past police. Five Wisconsinites agreed to plea deals. For example, a charge like violent entry goes away. Instead, they get parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a Capitol building. Joshua Munn is awaiting sentencing. Abram Markovsky in the Wisconsin National Guard at the time got some fines and two years probation. Along with him, Brandon Nelson also gets fines and probation, along with community service. A judge sentenced Kevin Loftus to community service, three years of probation, and restitution of 500 bucks. David Mish was locked up for 30 days and had to pay that same restitution. That money covers damages. The Capitol Architect estimates the riot created roughly $1.5 million in damage. The Capitol Chaos on January 6, 2021. As Congress was meeting to certify the winner of the 2020 election, Joe Biden. So this commission has interviewed some 1,000 witnesses, including the former chairman of the Wisconsin Republican Party, Andrew Hitt. He was part of a group who gathered at the Wisconsin Capitol in December of 2020 and then sent official documents to the federal government attesting falsely that Donald Trump had won the state of Wisconsin, even though Joe Biden had indeed won it. Now Republicans had argued that they needed to send that document to the federal government in case they won future lawsuits for the former president. Reporting in Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Lots to unpack there, Jason. Thank you.